Active Campaign UTM parameters are going to be tracked into a contacts record. And probably most importantly is the first occurrence of those showing up when a contact signs up versus any other visits. That way you can measure where the source of this contact came from, especially if you're paying for traffic. So that's really the focus. This whole thing is to simply log the first occurrence of UTM parameters for a visitor showing up to your site. And to do that, and there's going to be a lot of custom work here. We're going to pass in custom variables into a web form. We are going to fire off an automation when those um, values are added. We'll make sure that this is the first occurrence. If it is, we add them. Otherwise, we don't. And let's dive right in. So if you look at this site here, you can go find, if you type in UTM Campaign Builder, Google has one, Facebook has one. You're basically going to build a link that you see, for instance, at the very bottom, so that when people visit that site, there's some values there that will help track the source of your visitor. So let's start by actually creating some custom fields inside Active Campaign. So you'll want to go to Lists. And realize there's more than one way to do this. And this is, um, I'm going to say a little bit on the easier side because we're not going to actually use uh, some of the external things that are available for our active campaign, but we are going to do a little bit on the overkill side. I want to create a number of different custom fields. They're all going to be hidden. And these first one, two, three, four, five correspond to the names that are used here, campaign source, I should say source, medium, campaign, term, and content. So I want to create variables called UTM underscore source. And I usually do UTM, all caps, underscore, then capital K, source. Notice it all get it just comes down to letters and all caps in the personalization field. Then I want to repeat those same things except put the word temp in front of that. So this is going to be our temporary uh, UTM parameters. And then finally, one more hidden field called UTM already because we're going to build an automation that checks to see if that value is set. We could do this with tags. We're going to use custom fields here. So let's go ahead and build an automation that will update those UTM fields. So I'm going to create a new automation. Starting from scratch, we're going to trigger it on a field change. So when a field changes, and the one I want is the, UT, the temp UTM source. That's the, actually the only one required for UTM parameters. If it ever changes, um, we're going to just leave it at the first time. We could let it run multiple times. Um, especially if you decide you want to change the UTM variables associated with that contact. But for now, I'm just going to leave it as the first time. Click on Add Start. And before I go too far, let me just give it a name. And I'll make it active. Now, I want to ping a um, webhook. Now, I haven't created this yet, so I'm just going to put in a placeholder for now, and we'll come back to that. And we're going to set a goal, and we're going to say UTM already, and we want the contact to jump to this if they already have the custom field, UTM already is yes, Y-E-S. So that way we only hit this webhook URL once. Click on save. Click on in this automation. Normally I'd put a five minute wait, but I want to see this happen quickly. Okay, so that's that. Now we need to build a Google app script. I'm just gonna save you the, the pain, if you will, of doing this and here it is right here. This needs to be your, a, uh, your active campaign API URL, and then this is your API key. Where do you get those? Right here. Under my settings. Go to developer. There's your URL, and there's your key. 
So you want to copy that into this. And just to back up a little bit, if you type in Google Apps Scripts, go to the first, to the second one says start. And then that will prompt you, you can start scripting. You're going to want to give it a name. And then you're going to want to have this code in there with the exception of these changes. And just to very briefly show you what's going on here is information is going to be sent over from Active Campaign that includes your contacts email. And then we want to send over the temporary UTM source, medium campaign, term, and content. And then we're going to set UTM already to yes. Then we push that information back to Active Campaign instead of the temp variables, we're going to update the permanent variables. And that's it. That's what it's doing in a nutshell. So I've already saved this, and if I ever make changes and I want to do an update, I need to now file save. And I want to publish, deploy as a web app. And I'm going to give it a new version. I'm not even going to tell it what it is. I want to execute it as me. And then for access, I want anyone, even anonymous. So I'm going to copy this script right here, that link, click on OK. I'm going to go back into my automation. I'm going to change this to that value right there. I'm sorry about that. Let's just go straight to forms. Create a new form. We're going to call it UTM. It's going to be an inline. We'll put them on a list. We're not going to collect first name, but we are going to add all these hidden variables in there, or the temp ones. So let's just do temp source, temp medium, campaign. And that's it. I'm not going to worry about this. I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm going to integrate. Now, I need to get the code. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to need to grab the fields for the custom fields. And they should be in order. So there's email. And then there's fields 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So here we go. I'm going to go into here. Here's my web form, and let's take a look at it. If I look at this as the view sign up, there are no hidden fields at this time, but I need to add those so that when I pass in those UTM variables, they actually get put into the web form. So here's what it's going to look like. We're going to copy, I've already got the code created. I want to put this at the top of this. So there needs to be a PHP script. I'm going to paste it in. And basically, it's going to parse through whatever's in the query string and grab everything that has UTM underscore in it and assign it to a value. So that when we come down here, we are going to modify this right now. And let's grab the form value. I'm going to grab that. And I don't need most of this, so I'm going to get rid of this. And I need to put in some hidden fields, so let's grab these. Now, for these, I need to put in the um, expected value. So because I've already captured them up here in this PHP script, I'm going to simply print them out. So I need to um, echo those values or print them out right there. So I'm going to just repeat this for every single one. Okay, so let's go ahead and save that. Okay, back to this web form. Let's refresh this and then view the source to make sure those are showing up. And they are, but notice there's no values in them right now. 
So let's go to our campaign builder and grab the URL we want to use. And this time, those hidden values should have data in them. And they do. So the expectation is when we submit this form, this data is going to get put into the temp UTM variables. And automation is going to run. It's going to check to see if the UTM already is set to yes. If it isn't, and it won't be, it will populate the permanent UTM variables with these values. And then if we were to come back later and change those, it still wouldn't change them from the original values. So let's make sure that's how it works. So there is the contact right there. And the UTM source, medium, campaign, term, content is all set. So are the temporary ones. The UTM already is set to yes. We went through the automation. Now, let's just double check. So let's change one of those values. So instead of A1 at the end, let's do B1. If I view the source, that value is B1. Now, hopefully if I Let's make sure this should be B1, this should still be A1. And it is. So the temporary UTM variables represent the most recent UTM variables that were sent over, and the UTMs represent the permanent, the original records. So that's how we capture UTM variables, put them into an active campaigns account, and they're undisturbed from the original implementation.